Welcome all for coming back. In the coming sections, we are very glad to have our chairman, our committee and panel's chairman, to share with you their insights on collaborative research projects. First, may I invite Professor Chung Yipua, chairman of the major project steering committee, to share with us the key elements in collaborative research. Professor Chung, please. Well, good afternoon. Um, I'm supposed to tell you about uh, these uh, key elements. Uh, I, I think it's a little bit of uh, presumptuous of me to tell you how to write a proposal. Uh, but think of it as I, I would uh, like to ask you to think of it a different way. Imagine that you are a reviewer instead, rather than being the, the author of a proposal. Uh, just a little bit of audience participation. How many of you, you have a show of hands, have actually reviewed uh, a, uh, an LGC proposal? Quite, uh, well, quite a few of you. Okay, <laughs> second question. Uh, this is a little bit difficult. Um, how many, you know, they're, they're diff uh, how, when you review a proposal, what, how, uh, I mean, under what circumstance you are reviewing it? Do you actually lay out the proposal on your, either on the, uh, uh, as a printed copy or on your computer, sit down in your office, comfortable with a cup of coffee or tea next to you, and, re and spend, spend the next three hours dedicated proposal. How many of you actually do that? <laughs> More power to you, okay. <laughs> um, so if you keep that in mind, what that means is that when you uh, develop a proposal, when you read the proposal, what you're really, the first step, the key element is that you have to start off with an innovative and compelling idea. Uh, nothing else matters if you don't have such a compelling and innovative idea. Now, I'm not about to tell you how to generate that, but what's important is um, what constitutes something compelling or innovative. And in fact, um, Professor Roland Chin, uh, the uh, uh, previous chair of the RTC, used the word wow factor. Somebody reads your proposal and say, wow, that's a clever idea, or wow, that's an exciting approach. So that's the first step that you have to have. All right, so come up with a, a, a wow factor or innovative idea. Now, uh, if you are submitting the proposal to a theme-based research, you better make sure, no matter how wow it is, it better fit uh, the, the theme itself, otherwise it, uh, it, it won't be reviewed very well. So make sure that you uh, have it uh, to the uh, right program. Um, the second component, since we're talking about a collaborative research project, that means it's collaboration. Uh, you need to have a proposal that uh, has a credible collaboration plan. Uh, you cannot just stuff uh, five people into a, say, a CR project and think that that's collaborative enough. Uh, that's not enough. Uh, you have to at least show, uh, in a convincing way, the role played by each individual. And in fact, uh, uh, for those of you uh, who happen to be uh, sitting in uh, Professor Vivian Yam's talk, you should ask for a set of your slides. Uh, that, that the, the kind of roles, uh, or you can use some sort of a, a flow chart uh, to show clearly uh, why you involve, say, five or six or ten individuals in your program. Now, uh, related, going back to the uh, these two items, I mean, come up with an idea, put together a team, and so on, sometimes, uh, you might be, if you're lucky, you might be assembled on the fly, but I would say 99% of the time, you have to prepare for it. So, in other words, uh, you don't just say form a, uh, come up with an idea, form a collaborative team in two weeks. Uh, Sometimes it will take uh, you years. Uh, so, if there are administrators in this room, I would uh, assume that you have uh, set up your own university, some sort of a fund uh, to um, nurture, to incubate uh, collaborative teams, uh, incubate ideas uh, in some way so that you don't go in kind of a call to apply for these uh, grants. Uh, and associated with that, if you have truly an innovative idea, uh, how often do you hear or you get a review back and say, uh, Professor so-and-so has a great idea, but we don't know if it's going to work. Uh, that aggravates me, aggravates you, because you have no way to defend it. So if you have some sort of a preliminary data to 
uh, prove that uh, at least uh, the feasibility idea that would be great. And again, uh, some sort of internal funding to provide that kind of supportive uh, uh, data would be very helpful. So this is really a message for uh, the vice president research and department heads and deans and so on. Finally, um, uh, you are writing a proposal. So as a reviewer, I'm reading a proposal. I'm not reading a mystery novel. In other words, I would like to know what you want to do on page one, not on page 22 of your 23-page proposal. And you'll be shocked that, uh, maybe I, I, I go a little bit extreme there, but certainly uh, there are lots and lots of instances when we see proposals describing the key elements, the key innovation on page five or, 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 or so of the proposal. So by that time, if you happen to be sitting in bed reviewing the proposal, you would have gone to sleep. And that's not the best way to impress your reviewer. So again, let me just repeat, uh, there are many, many components. But thinking as a reviewer, I'm looking for a compelling and innovative idea. And I'm looking for credible plans of collaboration. And in the case, by the way, of large projects, you've got to have a credible plan of management. And finally, you've got to present it well, which means that uh, don't keep the secret all the way to the end. Uh, show your innovation, show your compelling idea and approach uh, as early as possible. So no promises that you will succeed, but you'll raise your chance of success uh, by many orders of magnitude. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Chung. Now we'll have Professor Louis Chen and Professor Ronnie Shah, the chairman of the Business Studies Panel and the Social Humanities and Social Sciences Panel, to give us advice to the HSS applicants on applying collaborative research grants. Professor Chen and Professor Shah, please. Oh, <laughs> 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 depends. Okay. <laughs>